to be bringing you yet another wonderful episode of a moment with madeline my name is madeline stick and stay i'll be right back to introduce my guest for today what up what up your favorite boy we are k to the toh keep watching the moment with madeline you're done no stay tuned we're done no? what's the mood for what up my people it's your boy david Doyle. you guys are now watching a moment with madeline make sure you don't touch that down we'll be right back god bless you we'll be you about it you welcome back from the break and if you just tuned in you are on the right channel and at the right time because this is the number oh no entertainment tv show a moment with madeline and today in my studios i have a superstar all the way from lagos nigeria yes it's about to go down with madness what's up i'm good how you doing I'm fine. You look sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sorry, by the too. way. All right, so, Magnus. Yeah, yeah. What's how up? was your journey down to Ukraine? Good. Fine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. As good as it can be. No coronavirus. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Okay. All right, all right. That's nice. All right. all right, so I'm super excited to have you in my studios. You know, I've been chasing you for quite some time now. And you are <laughs> here, and we want to get to know you. So, so. tell us, who is Magnus? Uh, Magnus, just a young kid with dreams, I guess, uh, from Nigeria. Okay. I'm an artist. Uh, oh. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> this is Magnus. You said a young kid with dreams. How yeah. young are you? <laughs> How old do you think I am? 28. No, 26. I'm still young. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. All right. So tell us. What's your real name and where from Magnus? Uh, my real names are Akinshe, Akinkoye. Hmm. Wow. I'm from Ondo State, Nigeria, Yoruba boy. Okay, Yoruba Angel. No, Yoruba Demon. Yoruba Angel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So tell us a bit about your background. Um, I grew up in the northern part of uh, Nigeria, Niger State. Um, okay. Uh, studied there, then moved to Lagos, you know. Chase the dream, the music dream came. Uh, came to Ukraine to study. I think that was in um, 2011, mm -hmm. and I uh, left Ukraine in 2015 uh, to chase my, you know, my music, and you know, we've been doing good since then. And, and you're here, and having fun with it, yeah. So the name Magnus, does it come from you being a musician, or like how did the name come about? uh my big sis actually gave me the name yeah okay yeah it was like uh when we were growing up uh trying to do music and she was like uh, there's this roman guy pompey magnus studying and things like that yeah it's ah. just so it's a whole thing oh. for another episode <laughs> okay so i mean she's seeing you now making yeah. waves i guess she's so proud of you uh, i guess she should where be. is she she's in nigeria oh, okay. yeah. all right that's nice all right so you came to ukraine to study like you mentioned how yeah. did music happen for you here in ukraine well i've been into music for like uh I don't know, since i was very young like you mm -hmm. know the cliche story i started in the choir in nigeria my mom was a choir mistress okay. and i've been doing music before i came to ukraine mm -hmm. so it's been it's just like a transition thing you get me mm -hmm. so i had to come chase my education and then go back and okay. do my music but almost every artist in ukraine that has been on this show has the same history yeah. they keep, like they come to ukraine to study and then they end up doing music so i mean i didn't not... end up doing music in ukraine okay i was Yours doing music different. prior to coming to, come to, into to ukraine. ukraine okay yeah. all right so that means this history or let me say so many people being in ukraine and ending up you know not deviating but then discovering their talents is not something that influenced your decision to be a musician yeah no 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 not no, at no. all I, I think like i dropped my first single like four years 
mm-hmm. before coming to before ever coming, coming to, to Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Interesting. So yeah, what? I was signed on that label before coming to Ukraine. Yeah. Are you serious? Shout out to what Bay is... Records. What? Bay Records. I was signed on that label. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's all story. But yeah. I've been doing music before I came to Ukraine. Oh, okay. So you didn't start from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shots to the people who started. Okay, yeah. so when you came here and you were doing music, you were with Mr. Flo, then Peruzzi and Co, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we you guys all started, started together. Yeah, everybody was, you know, doing their things. Lingo, By the end of the yeah. day, most of you end up going back to Nigeria to do music. Because, let's face it, at the end of the day, that's where the fan base is. Mm. So why why is that you guys can't build your fan base in Ukraine? What is wrong with the system? Or let me say, what is wrong with the industry? I don't think anything is wrong with the uh, system. I just think there is no industry yet. You get me? Hey, it's a different thing. Wait, there is no industry yet. It's not like uh, when I say there is no industry, mm-hmm. there is an industry, but like it's still growing. Com- yeah, yeah, it's still growing compared to what you're since twenty eleven. You know the the situation is that a lot of people here who like are into entertainment mm-hmm. will eventually want to go back to you know their roots from Ghana, Nigeria, you know. Why is this so like can't can't people make it from Ukraine from within the four corners of Ukraine? Yeah, Talk about Chris Clown. Yeah. I mean he didn't have to go back to Nigeria, he did it from here. So why must everybody be like, Okay, I need to go back home? Like that's that's what we're trying to do. Right? Okay. Is that right. what we're trying to do? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> All right. So we are still in the conversation of music back in the days in Ukraine. So tell me, like, how was it like being a musician and doing music in Ukraine back in those days? That was, was from 2011. Um, it was fun. Mm-hmm. It was. It was like. Uh, I don't know. It was good because you get to improve on your craft. Okay. You know. What we're doing is not something you just wake up, do, and then stop for like years and then continue to do. You get mm-hmm. me? So you improve on your craft, your showmanship, and everything that has to do with your music and the whole business. So there's no fault there. I, I, it's been good, I guess. Mm, okay, so there were enough shows, yeah, enough yeah, yeah, gigs. Yeah. yeah, not as much as we like it, but you know, mm. we can't complain. Okay, so if you want to fix the system or the growing industry, what would you have fixed here in Ukraine? Uh, I just think uh, people in Ukraine should just support their own, I guess. Okay. You know? All right. Show love to people, mm-hmm. not just behind closed doors. Yeah, okay. and, and, and when you say support, what do you mean by support? By just listening um, to your music? Yeah, that's that's good enough. Mm. It's, it's not okay. compulsory. You have to, like, uh, post me that you like my music or anything Mm. just listen to the music if you like it then i think i've done my job yeah okay all right we're having a very interesting conversation here i'm going (laughs) to be back with the next part of the show so stick and stay i'll be right back hey what up what up my people it's your boy paris you already know what time it is damn don't be up in this tell be a gang up in this and yeah this is the moments with madeline stay tuned back from the break and i'm still here with magnus yeah yeah all right so magnus looking at your career here in ukraine as a musician what year did you decide to go back to nigeria to pursue your career and what moved you i mean what was the trigger like i've been wanting to move back to nigeria but like ever since ever since but i had to you know finish my degree because you know gotta give the folks what mm. they want and then Okay. So you finished hard in which year? Uh, 2015. Mm. And that's when you went back to Nigeria? No, I actually went uh, to do my master's degree. Okay. And then went back to Nigeria. Where did you go to do your master's degree? Uh, it's a small country, Latvia. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's close to Ukraine, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ukraine nice. is home, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ukraine is home. All right, so... After your master's degree, the main reason why you went home is not to go and work with your certificate, obviously, but to go and pursue your music career. Did you have any hopes of making it in the industry? What kind of question is that? Of no. course, obviously, uh-huh. if, if you don't have hopes of making it in the industry, then why are you doing what you do? Mm. Okay, interesting. So, most often we are only used to hearing the success story of people. We don't get to hear the process. 
what went in, the struggles, the hurdles you had to jump before they make it in life. You went to Nigeria and you obviously had a breakthrough. You're doing great. Before meeting your record, your new record label, I mean, where were some of the things that you had to do? What was the process like breaking into the industry in Nigeria? Um, I just say keep working and um, link up. You get me? Okay, link so up with people. keep working and link up. So yeah. when you went to Nigeria, you just kept working and then you linked up. Linked yeah. up with who? The right people? You link up with the right people, yeah. That's just it. It's, it's just hard work and, you know, prayers and, you know, have the right connections. Okay, so that's what did it for you. Yeah, that's you what's doing it for You don't have to see any malam. What, what balam? <laughs> what do you don't mean? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so your record label boss, how did you guys meet? Um, actually, right now I'm indie. You know, mm -hmm. I'm doing my own thing. Oh. I used to have a record label that I work with, but you know. It's, what happened? It's history now. History. What it's, happened? Because, I mean, when you dropped um, this song, Bad Girl, you were still under the same record label, Olohun and Co. No, no, I dropped Olohun on my own. On your own? Okay, yeah, alright, that's and, uh, fine. The other songs, yeah, but you know, history. So, no, I want to know <laughs> the history that went down. Like, what happened? Um, you had to be indie, as you say, independent act, right? I guess, you know, when you're working with people, you, you know, you have to, like, uh, see the same vision i guess and um sometimes you don't see the same thing and everybody just goes away it's, it's nothing serious okay. no it's nobody's just... saying it's serious but <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's because you guys were seeing the same vision that's how come we even started working together in the first place so i really want to know like what went down because we've been hearing a lot of cases about artists and record label bosses having issues and all that what, what is your story um mine wasn't like uh it wasn't like a hundred percent record label boss type situation you okay, okay it was like a partnership type Start situation off. yeah okay. like, so it was it was not it's nothing like a, a boss and a employee getting mm -hmm. split or something like that it was just like two partners thinking yo i'm going this way i'm going this way and mm -hmm. yeah Okay. okay, so the partnership was not benefiting you. Yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what caused the split. I mean, was the it partnership just, not benefiting you enough? It wasn't about benefiting. It was just about uh, timing and location mm, and, 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 and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice. So yeah. now you are independent. How do you intend to stay relevant in the industry in Nigeria? Because it's highly competitive. There are lots of new talent coming up each and every day mm -hmm. and i hope you don't want to be like a one hit wonder so how do you intend to stay relevant in the industry that's that's why that's why whatever you do yeah, you have to be like uh, i think uh, i guess true to yourself okay if you're doing music and you have your own style of music mm -hmm. and you continue to work on your craft and improve you know make it better make it sound better make people want to listen to it better mm -hmm. you know it's it's eventually when it pops off it's going to make your journey amazing than being uh someone that would jump on a on a trendy type of thing mm -hmm. get hit and then like you say one hit one that so to stay relevant you just have to keep, keep working hard. keep working stay true to yourself basically all right so yeah. you don't intend to you know do any shady thing like getting into scandals because some people do getting into scandals just for their names to be out there for people to keep talking about them and all that well i don't think i'll be getting into any scandals i'll let my music speak you for know. you yeah, but what's your take on scandals do you think it's necessary uh, whoever does it if it's necessary for you then <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, all right. So we've been talking generally about you. Now let's talk about your music. Okay. I mean, I'm a huge fan. Trust me. Thank you. Like a very huge one. Thank because you. you are super intelligent and very talented as well. I don't know how you do that beautiful music. I mean, what inspires you? And do you write your music yourself? Yeah, I do. I do write my music myself. You know, it's just uh, for me, music is just like a vibe. It's like current current past future feelings emotions you know okay. just try to put it down get a beat you know work with it mm. it's just vibes for me you get me 
Okay, so vibes inspires you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the moment, you know, mm. yeah, the, okay, the like energy. Okay, yeah. can even inspire you the too. The energy, yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh, I wish you can. This moment can inspire you right now, and then you drop something. You know, like, <laughs> at this at this <laughs> stage, yeah, you like you have to inspire me with the with the rabbi. You get me? Hey, okay, yeah, don't so worry, we we'll get there. Yeah. Don't worry, we're not done with, inspire the me with the show. We we'll definitely get with there the, with the bands. So, um, which which I'm is your, which is your me. biggest composition so far? You like song wise, yeah? Yeah, song wise. Uh, to be alone. Oh no, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I like bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why alone? Yeah, because alone is just like uh, it's just the vibe, you get me? Okay, it's just the okay. vibe because alone is just talking about like you see, some people just they ask me what they did it in that job, what they prepared them, or like, like do you see you? You yeah, understand? So it's like everybody's just wondering, like, yo, this guy is just he's doing good, you know. It's so, next okay. up, and they just wonder like, okay, everybody what's wants the secret? To know, what's yeah. the secret? Like I was asking yeah, you, what's the secret? Yeah. Mm -hmm, that what did you do different yeah, it, to break yeah, through? Yeah, mm. yeah. So alone means what? Alone, like God, yeah. God. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank alone. you, alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's nice. You you had a wonderful um collaboration with Mister Flo. Should we look forward to more collaborations? With yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Flo, Mister Flo is the blood man. Started this music. Together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So keep working, man. It's blood. Okay, so which That's which gang. which uh huh? Shout out to Mr. Flo by the way. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So which artists do you look forward to having a collaboration with in the nearest future? Ah, uh, so many people. Mm. Yeah. So many people. Give me two. Two. Yeah. Uh, if I would have to, I say probably one day call. Okay. I'd like to get one call on the An song. intelligent musician, yeah. like. And um, I don't know. I've always wanted to do something with Vector. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So if I could get Vector on the song, that would be cool. All right. Yeah. And hmm, what again? All right. I've seen you mounting a couple of huge stages in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. How how do you get the gigs, especially now that you are independent? It's easier. I have like a manager before me, get to my manager, you know, okay. set it up. So assuming I'm having bands. a very big contest, like concert, sorry, in Nigeria, your manager will just reach out to me and then... Yeah, yeah, you reach out, you know. Do you pay do sometimes? Do I pay what? Pay like the organizers or promoters to get on no. stage to perform. Why would I do that? Mm, because <laughs> some parts in the world, people do pay. Hey, it's like, like I said, uh, I only go for a show you call me for. Mm. You get me? And when you're asking for my services, you pay me. Oh, okay. It's that easy. But what if you are asking for a favor from them? Like, they didn't invite you, but you want to perform. For I instance, Samiti was on this show, and then he made mention of him having to pay Osh Baby some amount of money to get his act on stage. So, like, I just wanted to know if you do something like that, if you've ever done something like that. Um, I, I think if everybody, you are not invited. I think I think everybody at some stage has has gone through something like that, especially doing music in Nigeria where I come from. Like mm -hmm. it's one a point in my life, I have probably you know done something like that. You know, mm -hmm. while coming up, cause like big musicians are coming to your city and you're trying to get put on, but you know, we're past that stage now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's been nice having you on the show. We are not Thank done, you. but. I'll be right back with the basket of luck. Hi, fam, it's Obaya Capella, the dollar remix. Come on, wait a moment. It's a moment with Madeline. Keep it locked down on this dial. You want to know what's going on? Check a moment with Madeline. Zaga, 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 zaga. You will come back from the break, and we're here with my favorite segment of the show, the basket of luck. How lucky are you? Quite lucky. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> it's written all over you. All right. So you're going to do the picking and I'll read the correspondent question to you. So I have a lot of numbers in there. So. Okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go on. Ah, question number one. Okay. What's the worst comment you have ever received on social media and how did you react to it? Uh... Someone told someone posted on my page. It was like, uh, 
uh, I think he said, uh, I'm killing people with my music or something like that. I don't know, I can't remember. He said uh, something like, uh, if people listen to my music, they will die, and then the dead body will wake up and die. Ah, and no! Like yeah. You know when you said talking about killing, I felt like killing in good no, no, sense. No, 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 like, good. like, bad way. Like, that my music sucks that much, yeah. oh That's what he said. How, how hateful was it? I was, uh, you didn't get to me at all, because, like, it was something that had nothing to do with music. That mm -hmm. means that person comment like it was just hating i guess oh okay yeah. all right next question yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next question okay you have four more to go oh sorry oh yeah four okay question number four okay that's interesting which of these numbers is the odd number we have two eight thirty two forty six thirty two <laughs> The odd number is 32. Yeah. Mm, okay. Why 32? Odd number. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I will leave it <laughs> for the comment section. <laughs> good. Okay. Next let's question. Go, let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Three. Mm, okay. okay. Question number three. <laughs> Do you speak your local dialect? Yeah. Okay, so tell us a proverb in your local dialect and translate. Don't lie because we're going to have people from your state watching. <laughs> Wait, let me. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, it's, it is, it says, it's a Nkoti Agba Lagba Gbari Toba Joko. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It says, uh, what an elderly person can see from like oh. sitting out, like no matter a how child. standing or how tall you are, you can't see what uh, the elderly person, person is seeing. And yeah. repeat again. Huh. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Okoti Agbala Gbari. Wait! Okoti Agbala. Okoti Agbala Gbari. Okoti Agbala Gbari. <laughs> 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 it's okay, yeah. give up. Yes. It's so difficult. Let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. Number 10. This Question looks number dangerous. 10. Yes! This looks dangerous. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Alright, let's do Okay, alright. So, this is very interesting. It's a lyrics from a song. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to read it out to you. And uh -huh. then you're going to talk the name of the artist, the uh -huh. name of song. And when you get it right, you sing out the lyrics. Wow. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Yes, okay, so it goes like African Gelly, come and hop in my Mbima. You know me, I really want to take you for dinner. You know me, I get money passion at Peter. For my area, they call me Godzilla. Uh, I think that's uh, the new Rema song, yeah? I yeah, ask you. Something, uh, I know it's, it's something Bima, <laughs> I know it's Bima, yeah. Um, it's Bima and Bima. By Rima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so can you sing it for us? What did you say? Really, really African right? girl, you can hop Co in my Bima. Bima. Uh -huh. yeah. Something. I can't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, you're not a fan of, a fan of um, Rima. I like Rima. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, alright. I've not just been up on the song yet. On the song, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably next episode. I'll be up Should on I teach it. you? Yeah, yeah, no, me. please, I have code. We'll do it next time. Let's go. Last question, right, yeah. yeah? Last question, yeah. yeah. Number nine. Okay, question number nine. Tell us two things we don't know about you. Simple. Um, I play squash. Okay. I'm a good squash player. And uh, what, what, what else? What else? What else? Mm. I don't know about me. I think people who follow me online should know a lot about me. Mm. So, what's yeah. your favorite food? Because we don't know. I ah, personally so everything that has to do with you know rice. Rice, anything ricey. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's the end of the basket of luck. Choo -choo. So, do you think you were lucky? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Odd okay, number but, thirty-two. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see. Why did you wind me? No, I'm not why winding you. Why you <laughs> I'm not whining you. Why are you whining? All right, so Magnus, how do we get to get your music? Uh, just follow me on all social media platforms, mm -hmm. Magnus Music. Okay. And uh, 
to get updated. Are you sure? Yeah, Can you give me a line or two from Olo on your favorite before we go? Because you didn't get to sing Bima for me, so you need to do something small for me before we go. Last one. Special Some people thing. just they ask me, waiting hey. be the thing I chop with the pepper them all like this, yo. Hey. Pray, pray, yeah, yeah, yeah. So me tell them say, Chai, Olo, then give me that shit up. Oh, uh, yeah. I know the shit up part. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline, calm down. All right, all right, guys. It's been lovely having Magnus here on the show tonight. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all my social media handles. And a quick shout out going out to Miss Cass for my beautiful makeup and hair. I look lovely. And to Honey Dew Closet for my outfit today. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. All right, bye. Yeah, what's up? It's your boy Magnus, aka your girlfriend's best friend. And keep watching the moment with Madeline. Don't touch that guy. Oh shit, gang. Wake up.